Oh, the matriarch, I bring you tidings. You're gonna have to prayer find the demon responsible for stealing the black bell I met with Dora and Cereza. With the bell situation solved, it is now our focus to resolve the situation with the two lunar deities. Indeed, their conflict must be stopped. They may be the ones that who gave us life, but we will not I be dull and watch our lives be taken away. Momo Renault, you are the most capable of our priestesses, and together with Isadora and Cereza, you will succeed in saving our world from this threat. Thank you, your holy matriarch. Okay. New mission. Kinda. Okay, there's... It's going down there, but I'm not quite sure. I should, at the moment, hit that bell again, just to make sure I don't run into something that will kill me and put me all the way back. Uh, across here. It says there's something down. And sigil. Increase size and power of the sacred leaf when thrown. Okay. Can't get down from here. Ooh. Read. Uh, please return later. Okay. Game is telling me you're not ready for this. <laughs> Transport. This area. Okay. Now that the threat is dealt with. Damn, I should 
I didn't hit the bell and I should have. <sighs> no wonder there's a bell there. I thought it was weird that there was one. I'm still gonna go check to the other side. blocks away. Huh. Okay. Really? Just being a jerk? That is kind of a way to do it, using the... Shields to compensate for some of my poor jumping. Okay. Can't get through that, so it, it is just a. Oh, wait. And down. Ooh. 
hit this again. And then go check out the Mekon village. Blocks this one too. Damn. Kind of wish I had checked before then, or gone in further. I would have realized it was blocked off. That's blocked off, and that's blocked off. That this section was sort of done. I guess the only thing to do would be to maybe go back to the fairy village to also talk to the fairy queen, because in theory, yeah, the black bell is gone from here, so it should be back with them. So maybe there's another guidance of, hey, check out over here. To you, many Lumen Fairies have returned. This wouldn't be possible without you. Here's the reward I promised. Okay, this is what I more so expected. But that's a lot. I have a lot of crystals. Uh... Queen of the fairies, the demons responsible for the disappearance of the Black Bell have been purified. Our eternal thanks to you, our people once more human. Your partners, two young women, have brought back the bell to our village. It is now stored safely from the reaches of demons. It pleases me to hear that. Now I should return. May peace remain here. May be fulfill in your endeavors. Shit. I kind of expected more of a hint. Like, where go next exactly? But doesn't seem like that's 
there. Uh... <coughs> and yet her people are the tiniest fairies. Uh, I'm gonna try again at the well. something I needed to double jump for. Just gotta back up when that thing goes to explode. Inscription. A statue of High Priestess of this village. Underneath her image, an inscription reads To preserve the memory of Kaho no, High Priestess, Doh, owning the black dress of sacrifice, by his heroine of our people. The sanctuary was built in her honor in the second year of the reconstruction when her home was renamed from Lun to Koho. Her brave companions, Luna Cheme, Minlori, who fell to the demon Eamon Hagok, shall have their memories preserved in the eastern shrine of Hono. May our people never forget this histor history and the burden carried by them. down but secret over secret is just money Wait, that also have Yeah, that's blocked by a moon.
Uh, gold moonlit dust obtained. Material for conducting lunar attunement found in the vault. Also called trine. Lunar attunement. Am I finding things that I don't fully know about yet? Because that's what it feels like. Oh, there's so many question marks. There's still one in this room. Huh. Very curious. That's fine. Okay, I know what that one's question mark is. Which is a sigil. Leader, but move leader either from what? Oh, there's another down. This room is for? And Kaho apparently has jump problems, but you know what? She's cute, and I don't care. Uh, some other secret here. Okay, that is too far. Oh, 
not sure what else is down here. find some kind of mini boss but looks like I went through all the pathways there are some secrets there but otherwise no that I can't get into that I don't know what it is uh, I guess it is just going to this section that was past the boss that I beat before the other thing, which now I'm kind of annoyed. I didn't actually have to do that fight before. I could have done it with extra health and power. Wait. No, I'm going the wrong way. I need to go this way to get to fast travel. Transport. Yes. Wrong one. It's already done. Gaho just teleports to me, but then immediately falls off. Because <laughs> their jumps aren't as high. Yeah, I'm just... I don't realize it looks like a fish head, which is kind of just creepy, but sure. And okay, water is sludgy. Didn't mean to fall. I did. Okay, well, the added nutrients. Be back for it later. my speed or slowed even potentially my stamina mm. 
Oh, I did not see you through the tree. Sarissa, please tell me you have more. Gray sigil. Uh, no, you do not have more. I'll go ahead and buy these just because I can afford it. I saw the down that has a thing that we gave nutrients to, that has a switch, can't get through. No? A little human. What a pleasant surprise. Who are you? One of the guardians of the, these old roots. Once known as the great sorceress of Is Ishlith. Ishlith, an ancient kingdom? Yes, the very same. Alas, our former glory little remains. And soon, everything else will fade into nothingness. But his foolish hands... What are you talking about? Selene, a moon deity driven by the ugliest desires. To consume his sister and her children. His is the hand which beckons demons to th of the underworld. The moonlit hand of rebirth. Selene is the one able to bring back their regretful spirits who have not found peace in the afterlife. Naturally, you wish to confront this fate. Although you are only human, is that not enough? The blood of the moon goddess gave shape to you, to us all. Your body, the sacred leaf you wield, everything in your power is inherently a small fragment of her. The moon deity commands life and rebirth in another power known as moon mist. Moon mist can take any shape. You may find it as a weapon or as a barrier. But to stand against the moon, you must deeply attune to its power. Through lunar attunement ritual, one may briefly transcend their humanity. Perhaps it is the only way. You call yourself a sorceress. Could it be that you're able to conduct this ritual? Yes, but of course. For the ritual, I'll need some materials, golden moon dust and a silver moon dust. These materials were presents from the moon to the people of Ishlith. They were enshrined and protected as relics. Seek both and bring them to me. I assume you'd have me do you a favor in return for this power. Yes, yes. I'll have you hunt and purify the other guardian who slithers in this forlorn land. A mighty deity and one of my kin. Now 
However, even deities may succumb to a chaotic nature. Thus, they must be put down. I understand that well. I'll look for this serpent and put it out of its misery. How amusing. I shall expect your return eagerly then, human. I'm a little disappointed with this snake design. I guess it looks like the other one, like enemy versions, but it's a little bland compared to other things. 